Hello. Hi. Today we're gonna talk about the Brazilian drivers. What happened to the Brazilian drivers? Because well, Brazil has had so far 31 Formula One drivers and three championship chip, championship were fuck and three of them were champions of the world more than once. The first Brazilian driver was Chico Landi and he entered Formula One in 1951. However, he did not win anything. The first Brazilian driver to actually win a Grand Prix was Emerson Fittipaldi. He won the American Grand Prix in 1970. Emerson was also the first Brazilian champion. He won in 1972 with Lotus and in 1974 in McLaren. His McLaren would be raced by James Hunt a few years after, where he would be champion of the world as well against Niki Lauda. Emerson Fittipaldi was also champion in Formula Indy and he conquered two world titles in 500 miles of Indianapolis, becoming the only driver in the world to have two championships in both Formula One and 500 miles of Indianapolis. And only a few drivers have had one in Formula One and Formula Indy, so it makes him really special. Later on, Nelson Piquet entered Formula One. He won three world championships, two with Brabham and one with Williams. The two with Brabham were in 1981 and 1983, and the one with Williams was in 1987. Nelson Piquet was really known for fighting often on the track, like physically fighting. Later that decade, Ayrton Senna made his way into Formula 1. A lot of Brazilians actually discuss like who was better, Ayrton Senna or Nelson Piquet. Both of them have three world titles, but even though that can sound absurd, that's something that is true among Brazilians. Ayrton Senna is the one who has most wins among Brazil. He has won 41 races and achieved three world titles in 1988, 1990 and 1991. The 1989 championship was really controversial. Ayrton Senna was supposed to have won that, but the stewards did illegal the fact that after turning his engine on again, he cuts the chicane during the Japanese Grand Prix of that year. Having decided that, the stewards then gave the world title to Alan Prost. All of the three world titles by Ayrton was compared with McLaren. And in 1994, Ayrton moved to Williams, who had just won the championship the previous year, 1993, with a new whole idea of suspension. But they were having a lot of problems in 1994, and unfortunately, on that year, 1994, 1st of May, Ayrton Senna died during the San Marino Grand Prix in Italy. Ayrton Senna's death was one of the most tragic events that ever happened in Brazilian history. So, in honor of him, they put a 4 meter high statue of Ayrton next to a highway that they actually called after him in Sao Paulo, which was his hometown and the place where he was born. In the last few years, two Brazilian drivers have done really well. Rubens Barrichello, Barrichello. Barrichello who holds the record of the most Grand Prix starts ever. Actually, uh, Kim Reichen can overtake him in these numbers and become the one with most GP starts in the following races. That's true, but at the moment it's still the Brazilian who holds the record and Felipe Massa, but none of them have secured a championship. But Felipe Massa almost had it in 2008. It was only until in his home Grand Prix in the last corner where Hamilton overtook Glock and that took the championship away from Felipe Massa but with only one point, so he was really close. Brazil has so far 101 
race wins and eight world titles, being the last one Ayrton Senna's won. The Brazilian Grand Prix is still in calendar Interlagos. However, there have been some rumors that it will be changed for the next years for a new autodrum in Rio de Janeiro. So now, let's talk a little bit of drama. We can divide the drama in three parts. The first part is Nelson Piquet vs Ayrton Senna. The second part is Nelson's fights, the physical fights. And uh, the last part is actually about the current hunger for new drivers in Brazil. There's another juicy story we didn't talk about yet concerning Nelson Piquet Jr. and the Singapore 2008 Grand Prix. But this topic is so big that we will make a separate video about that, so stay tuned for that. No speaker versus certain Senna. That can sound weird, but it's true. Some Brazilians say that uh, Nelson Piquet had more talent and more hunger, hunger for victory. And well, it caused some Twitter fights, but among journalists and people who actually have been with these drivers, they truly say that Ayrton was better and that he could have conquered more world titles if he hadn't died. The second part is about Nelson. He was a really stressed driver. Whenever he had bad results, he would get really mad at the people he thought were giving him bad results. He would seek them after the race and he would actually punish them. Yeah. Also, Piquet had a bit of a rough relationship with his teammate Nigel Mansell at the Williams team because because Nigel was British and so is the Williams team and he always thought that they were giving him priority which also caused quite a lot of fights between the two. There was also this Grand Prix, I don't remember exactly where uh, and against whom Nelson fought but someone took him off the track and he seeked for this driver and he actually punched him and yeah, well, it was just a lot of trouble with this guy. Okay, update. The driver who PK punched was Elicio Salazar, and this event happened at the 1982 Grand Prix. It's known as Formula One's most famous fights ever. Moving forward for the third and last part of the drama, as a Brazilian, I can say we need a new world champion. Last world title was back to 19. 90s and yeah it's been a long time and currently we don't have any Brazilian driver in the grid but we do have some hopes Pietro Filippaud the grandson of Emerson is a test driver at Haas team but also Sergio Sacramento is the test driver for Alpha Tauri the new Toro Rosso more than that, we have three Brazilians on the grid in Formula 2. Felipe Djurovic, Pedro Piquet, and also Guilherme Samaya. So we have some hopes, and the following years we'll finally have a Brazilian back to the grid and hopefully fight for championships. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye bye!